back home. Uh, you see my offer today, two for one. We only got three, four spots left. So my new drum room is taking shape here. Uh, we put a little thing up here, which is like a, a little bed on top. You know, got to get busy after you finish playing. I'm joking. But uh, The lessons are always an hour, but we don't really count time. Uh, we just go until you get the info that you should have, um, which is usually within an hour. You're like, damn, Hutch, how much more can you give me? Um, so that's for all the people asking how long the lessons are. Two for one special. Uh, two for the price of one. It's only today, though. It's only today. I'm getting ready to go back out of town. I like to do these crazy things before I go out of town. It gives me something to do while I'm on the road also. So I stay my ass in the room and don't go drinking out down at the bar in the hotel lobby. I just get online and teach. I love what I do. Um, and that's why I encourage you students to come on through. And I will answer your question. Let's see. Man, listen to records and try and imitate that sound here. Uh, man, you know what? The best way to get a sound is really just listen to the records that you like and go and emulate uh, tuning the drums that way. Right now, my drums are open. Um, but they all, the sound changes. It depends on the gigs I'm doing and, and what, you know, what's needed of me. But I like to keep the drum sound wide open. You know, I don't like it. It's for straight ahead. Okay, here we go.
having your sound, like I say, not only the sound, but the things I practice every day. You see the snare drum every day. And I always tell you guys, hitting the drums in the same spot, right? Y'all play where your drum, your sticks are hitting in two different spots. Yeah, up here. My sticks. comes from hitting the drums in the middle of the drum all the time hitting the drums in a sweet spot as we say right every drum has a sweet spot y'all like how that shit look behind you oh lord that should look crazy right every drum got a sweet spot and i'm getting ready to go out on the road with soweto kinch so i got to get my programming on real quick here today uh, program these sounds in but every drum has a sweet spot and you got to hit that sweet spot on the drum so <clears throat> let me turn it around for you so you can see it the right way so as I'm playing, that's a sweet spot. That's a sweet spot. That's a sweet spot. So I'm always hitting in the sweet spots. You think what I'm saying? So. So that's that's the key to it, really. All you know, you see a lot of guys get on here, and they. I see a lot of guys coming out with drum video packs, talking about this and that. I do some different shit. I, I the way I give it to you guys is so informal. I, I guess I should be making form, more formal videos for you, but I like to reach you the same way that I learned. Like so, when I did the video about the bass drum feathering, I literally woke up, took my socks, put the camera down there, and started to show you guys how to feather because I think that that's more important than how it looks. Um, Pearl Masterworks, baby. Yeah, you know what it is. Wait till you see the next set coming. But the point is, that that shows you how to get the information. So when you saw my foot, and you saw I was just in my socks, I was just chilling out, but you saw how close the beater was getting to the head? That's all it is. Wake up in the morning and just sit down and do that shit. Or sign up at GregoryHutchinson43 at gmail.com. It's the same thing. The same info. The same way. I'm talking to you now. It's the same way I teach. Uh, we go through Jim Chapin. We go through Jim Blackley. We go through four ways. So the shit that you just heard me playing, let me let me give it to you again because I think sometimes y'all forget. I think you don't realize what's really being being given to you at uh, a fraction of what it should be. So I gave you when you see me doing this. worked out to be called Hutch's Way. don't mean shit but you need to be able to articulate it's like me trying to speak to you and i couldn't speak I was like, 
Uh, no. So <clears throat> let's talk about what that is. That comes from me studying with the great Eddie Washington, great Lewis Nash, hanging out with Tane, and all the people like I told you guys about. That's where that comes from. But you say, well, Hutch, I, I didn't get a chance to, to grow up there. And, you know, so how do I get that? Well, Santonio, San that's my dude. Antonio, what's happening, baby? You good? So that's, that's where that comes from. You know, um, it comes from... It comes from, you know, just practicing and, and really, you know what I'm going to do? Give me two minutes. I'm coming back. I'm going to set something up for y'all so that you can check out what we're going to do. I'm going to get you guys to come join me. So give me two minutes and we're coming back. Stay tuned.